Good afternoon, everyone. USA Today article claiming that the Earth just had its 400th straight warmer than average month thanks to global warming. Now, wait a second. April 18 was the Earth's 400th month in a row with above average temperatures. This is the satellite record going back to 1979. 400 months is 33.3 years. That is a lie. USA Today, you need to retract that story. That is an absolute fabrication that you could even claim such a thing when right here are the satellite-based temperatures. I circled at least the very obvious points in the yellow back in the 1980s, the early 90s, 2008 and 9. You're claiming that each month is successively warmer. This is the fact. Also, let's take a look at May 24th temperatures coming out in South Africa. I should say Southern Africa. It's looking about uh, 12 degrees Celsius below normal. And also when you get further up into Central Africa, what is that dark purple up there below normal temperatures as well? Going 8, 10 degrees Celsius below normal. South America, glimpse at the temperatures down there. Wanted to keep it in the Southern Oceans because... This is where the first effects are going to be seen as we enter into the next amplification of the grand solar minimum. Looking at Australia, looks much warmer than normal, huh? But what's interesting when we come out, we see the same weather pattern mix up that we've seen where you get these extreme heat on one edge of a front and extreme cold on the other that just create these most massive storms across the continent. Looks again, same, 6, 8, 10 degrees Celsius below normal, but on the other side, the flip, it's looking 8, 10 degrees Celsius above normal. Another anomaly happening is this cyclone in the Middle East, right near Yemen and Oman. And this seems to be a very strange location for a storm, the Gulf of Aden. And taking a look at an early formation storm here coming in over in western India. Nice size hailstones coming down across Europe. Those aren't the same size that I was used to seeing when I was a kid. Seems to be an uptick in the size of hail, the ferocity of the storms, all brought on by these temperature differences and the intensification of the grand solar minimum. In the USA Today, that is actually sickening that you put this out, that it's the 400th consecutive month above average. And here you are, the year today, the Earth seeing its fifth warmest start to the year. Great. What do you get, a, a participation trophy? It's the fifth warmest? Come on, you got to have better news than that. This video has been brought to you by TrueLeafMarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on our planet. All the links for the video including True Leaf Market, are in the description box below. If you purchase, please use that code. It's for ADAPT2030. And if you have any tips, stories, or ideas, you can send those through ADAPT2030 at oilseedcrops.org. I appreciate you watching. I know your time is valuable. Thank you so much for spending your minutes with me.